Hello everyone, I'm Melanie Gall, and before we begin, let me just clarify that this is not porn. No, 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 this is my childhood bedroom, and honestly, not much has changed. Uh, over there, that's Abby Annie, my Cabbage Patch Kid, and, and that is a pillow cover my mom made me for my ninth birthday, and um, I wore this when I was six years old. I was a a flower girl and I wore this when I was four years old and I was a, a flower girl and I wore this when I was 16 and, and everyone liked Phantom of the Opera. Okay, I guess some things have changed. Even though I lived in New York for almost a decade and a half and I, before Plague Mageddon hit, I dedicated years of my life to traveling the world, to singing in dozens of countries. I never technically moved out of my childhood bedroom. And, and now that I'm, I'm here for the foreseeable future, I had a proper look around and I, I realized that actually, I have left a fair amount of travel souvenirs behind. Because usually I, I travel to another country and then I, I stop back here to visit my mom and my bird and I, I unpack the bag of, of any extra things and usually the souvenir is just sort of put around my room. So I thought, since I feel six years old again, and, and since six-year-old Melanie's favorite activity was show and tell, I would do a little show and tell of some of my favorite travel souvenirs. Let's start out by looking at my bookshelf. This is a duck that I was tossed at a Mardi Gras parade in New Orleans. This, and this is one of my favorites, is a rock in the shape of a fish I found at the bottom of a pond in the forest of Trinidad. To be honest, I thought it was a body when I first found it, but it turned out it was a fish. This is a book that I found in Korea. It's a copy of the Canadian novel Anne of Avonlea, and its illustrations are absolutely gorgeous. It was illustrated by a Korean artist, and it is the most beautiful treatment of one of my favorite books. This sheep came from Armley Mills in Leeds, England. This silk wrap is from Shanghai, China. It costs like $2. This is a cup that I bought in Hungary at a market just outside of Budapest. This also came from Hungary. This is an antique from Jerusalem. And on the wall, a picture of my sister Wendy and I eating somewhere in the Caribbean. This funny dog came from Laos. And don't forget the cute stickers and stationery from Japan. And when, when I was in Japan and mentioned to the manager of a hotel that I had a pet sparrow, he sent a staff member out to bring me this little surprise. This is from Cappadocia, Turkey. This is from Istanbul, Turkey. And don't forget jewelry. This is from Argentina. I thought she looked lonely and needed a friend. And one of the best things of all, a poster from a concert that I did in Prague, Czech Republic. I even got up to date on all my shots. But now that I'm under quarantine in Alberta, there has got to be something that I can do to keep the travel spirit alive. Now, even though I can't travel at the moment, I thought it would help me feel better by singing a song about travel. This song talks about all the different faraway places that one can visit, although they don't all exist anymore. And here goes, far away places made famous by Vera Lynn, but sung by so many other people over the years. Oh, 
Oh, God.